All right, we are back today with more factoring. Today we are looking at the sum and difference of two cubes. So just like last week when we learned about difference of squares, if I have the subtraction between two perfect squares, there is a special formula for factoring that. Um, I have a special formula for if I have the sum of two perfect cubes or the difference of two perfect cubes. So let's talk about what those formulas are. If I have a cubed plus b cubed, that factors out to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And if I have a cubed minus b cubed, that factors out to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So these are formulas you're going to want to memorize. And the thing about these that it's actually going to be easier to memorize than you're probably thinking initially it will be is that the contents of these parentheses is the same you know a b a squared a b b squared what's different between the two is the operation between them either addition or subtraction so for sum of cubes you have plus minus plus and for difference of cubes you have minus plus plus so as long as you can get the a b a squared a b b squared straight in your head then you just need to distinguish between when you're adding and when you're subtracting now in order to recognize when you have perfect cubes you need to memorize your first I would say up to 10 perfect cubes this list goes up to 15 as you can see but memorizing your perfect cubes is how you're going to be able to recognize when you have a sum or difference of cubes so let's jump into some examples, starting with number, this first one, they're not numbered, um, x cubed plus 8. That is a sum of two cubes. Cube root of x to the third power is x, so that's going to be my a. And the cube root of 8 is 2, so that's going to be my b value. So I know a is x and b is 2, so I can substitute those values into my factored formula. So that's going to be x plus 2 times x squared minus x times 2 is 2x plus 2 squared is 4 and once you've gotten to this step you want to take a look at both of your parentheses to see if there is a GCF or something else you can factor further um, no GCF this trinomial cannot be factored because there's no factors of 4 that add to negative 2 so I know I'm done let's look at the next one 27 y cubed plus 8 identify a and b a is going to be 3y, and b, the cube root of 8, is 2. Again, this is the sum of two cubes, so my factorization is going to be a plus b, 3y plus 2, times a squared. Now, if I square 3y, that means I have to square both the coefficient and the variable, so that's going to be 9y squared. Minus a times b is going to give me 6y, plus, again, 2 squared is 4. Then look at both of your parentheses, see if there's anything else you can factor further, and on this particular one, there is not. Going down to the next row, I have 216x to the third power minus 125y to the third power. So this is a difference of cubes, so I need to identify a and b. The cube root of 216x to the third is 6x, and the cube root of 125y to the third power is 5y. So a is 6x, b is 5y, plug those into my formula for difference of cubes. It's going to be 6x minus 5y times a squared. When I square 6x, remember I still square the, the coefficient and the variable. So that's going to be 36x squared plus a times b is going to be 30xy plus when I square 5y, I get 25y squared. All right, on to the next one. I have a GCF here that I can take out, and that is 8. If I factor out 8, that gives me x cubed minus 8. And this is a difference of squares. So a is x, b is 2. So that 8 is going to stay in the front, and then I'm going to do my difference of squares, which is x minus 2, excuse me, x, difference of cubes, x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. And on to that last row. y to the 6th minus 64n to the 6th. This is a difference of cubes. a is going to be y to the second power, and b is going to be 4n squared. 
So my difference of cubes, y squared minus 4n squared times y to the fourth plus 4n squared y squared plus 16n to the fourth. Now, looking at what I have here in the front, I have a difference of two squares. So I can factor this first parentheses even further. Remember, difference of squares is factored out to a minus b times a plus b. So I'm going to quickly identify my new a and b. a is y, b is 2n. So when I factor that first parentheses, I'm going to get y minus 2n times y plus 2n. So that was me factoring my difference of squares, and then I just bring down that long parentheses at the end. It's not changing. And so this whole thing is my factored answer. Okay, now this next one does have a little typo. I'm just going to change that second k value to be a different variable. You can make it whatever letter you want. I am going to make it w. So we're going to do k to the ninth times w to the ninth. And this is a sum of two cubes. So a is going to be k to the third power, and b is going to be w to the third power. So my sum of two cubes, that is going to give me k cubed plus w cubed times k to the sixth minus k cubed w cubed plus w to the sixth. Now looking at what I have factored, I have another sum of cubes at the very front. So I'm going to factor this with sum of two cubes a second time. So for the second factorization, a is going to be k and b is w. So I'm just going to factor that one more time with my sum of two cubes. So that is going to be k plus w times k squared minus kw plus w squared. So this was my sum of cubes from the first parentheses. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I just need to bring down that last parentheses exactly how it was before. See if I can squeeze all of this in here. And now this is my final factored answer. So when you're seeing things that say factor completely, what that means is you need to double check that after you do the initial factoring that there's not another GCF, difference of squares, or some other difference of cubes that you can factor additionally to make sure it's factored all the way. And that is it for today's notes.